Alrighty, so here's what I got in my chainsaw collection so far. Still 015 AV, 16 inch bar, runs extremely well. Still 024 wood boss, 16 inch bar, runs extremely well again. Still 051 AV electronic, it's actually only got a 21 inch bar on it and I believe it's pre-1977 as the logo on it. Is the logo that still stopped using in 77, 78, I believe. Runs well. Got a uh, 1967 Home Light XL12, 16 inch bar. Runs pretty well. Just need to do a little bit more tinkering with it. 1970 Home Light Super XL, 20 inch bar. Runs actually really well. 1986 Homelite SXL AO. Basically, it's just a more, a little bit more modern version of that Super XL right there. The SXL AO got automatic and manual chain oiling. Has a handguard on it and electronic ignition as well as a sprocket nose bar. Home Light C51 was made from 1964 to 67. 22-inch bar on it. Runs, runs pretty well. I'm actually just waiting for a new air filter cover nut for it. And then just need to sharpen up the chain. Runs pretty good. Don't even know what year it is. It's a McCullough Eager, Eager Beaver 2016. Somebody actually put an 18 inch bar on it. Runs well, kind of a backup. Let me just turn the new lights on in the garage. Changing for everything from fluorescent to LED. Whole heck of a lot brighter. Right there is a 1965 Homelite XL12. It's actually just a part saw. It's locked up. I actually got some decent parts off of it for that other XL12. And I actually just picked this saw up Saturday afternoon. I actually had uh, Jake, five tractor guy, come down and take all of my wheel horse stuff and in trade he gave me this little home light Super 2. I actually got it to pop off on some fuel mix down the carburetor, so probably uh, fuel lines, carb kit, uh, duck bill valves, and general cleanup, and it should be a nice running saw. Still into the outboards, just not as much as I was before. Uh, I am going to try to thin out my collection some, but... Some of the core motors that are in my collection will stay. Gotta do a little bit of cleaning in the garage here. It's not that bad. A couple Husqvarna's I'm working on for my buddy's dad. And a couple of stills that I'm working on for my dad. Just gotta actually go get parts for them. Got an MS211 that needs a coil and an O21 that needs a brake handle. The 455 Rancher, you're going to be getting a new carburetor and related parts. And this older 55 Rancher, I checked it out 
a couple days ago. Runs excellent. Really didn't do much to it at all. Just cleaned it up a little bit. Retention the recoil rope. Cleaned the bar grooves. And uh, the chain was actually jammed in between the rim sprocket and the clutch. So it was really hard to pull over. So once I put the chain back on properly, thing fired up and ran perfectly. And I did log test it and runs really really good so I guess that's about it and so like I said I will be able to now manage my YouTube account from my phone I'm still trying to figure out how to make my channel name Will's Garage or Will's Garage Revive something like that probably try rest of this week so that's about it for now, guys. Bye.